Hi guys and welcome to my channel. My name's Derek. I'm a UK reseller, tap peddler on YouTube. This video is going to be all about repairing a broken an MB computer battleships game. I bought it from a car boot sale probably back in sort of April March time and I've just stored it up for Q4. I'm knowing that the battery compartment was corroded. So in this video I'm going to fix that and get it prepared for sale. So as you can see here we have the computer battleships game it was really in really good condition um, all the bits were there um, I counted all the bits and I've got all the ships there on both sides and I've got all the counters um, the only thing wrong with it is that the battery compartment was all corroded um, it basically had two old batteries that had been left in it as you can see the the amount of gunk that came off on my fingers even when I opened the battery compartment was horrible and getting those batteries out actually broke the connectors okay so the plan is now to fix this um, battery compartment let me just lift this off yeah so as you can see here the battery compartment was completely corroded. There's a little bit left on here, as you can see. But the other one, there's, there's supposed to be two in here. And the other one was completely gone. Um, there was no, you know, it was like stuck solid to the battery. It was really bad. Um, so the plan is to replace these with these nice new ones that came today from eBay seller. I'm using this stuff, 9 volt battery connector. Basically just um, a bit of wire, the ends there um, with brand new connectors. So I've already had a look and the, I, to begin with I thought I could just cut these wires and then join the join the, the um, new connector onto it but from closer inspection this panel here does actually clip off there's little clips at the sides here so what I'm going to do I'm going to clip this off so I can get to the circuit board underneath and I'm going to solder directly onto where these cables connect to so I'll just take it off and I'll show you that back of this unit there's clips on the reverse of the board so all you do is push these in and clamp it out and then you basically pull it from the reverse pull this completely out there's little clamps here just make sure the the little tangs are coming out correctly um, then you'll be able to take the board out access the back of the board for the soldering right so I've got this unit off now and you can see the back of the unit and as you can see here this is where the wires connect to um, they just go up there onto the back of here now for the purpose of my fixes I'm gonna cut this wire on each of these wires and I'm gonna solder directly onto the back here just to make it easy for myself safely taking off the the end there I think um, and it should be exactly the same fix um, so yeah that's what I'm gonna do now I've got my piece of board here that I'm just gonna do the the work on I've got my soldering iron and I have a roll of solder so I'm basically gonna solder these connectors on my soldering skills on a scale of 1 to 10 it's probably 1 so don't watch this video for how to solder watch this video for how to fix the battleships game my soldering will leave a lot to be desired 
and it won't be done to a great standard. However, it should fix the problem, fingers crossed. So I'm just waiting for the soldering iron to heat up now. And when it heats up, I'll just be able to solder these wires on. I'm not going to cut the old wires off until I've soldered these ones on, I think. So I need to figure out from here which ones go together. These two go together here. So that's the middle ones that um, go together. So I'm going to concentrate on that one first, I think. So I've got my solder. And I'm basically just going to melt it on there. Um, it looks like it might be ready. As I say, I'm the wor world's worst solder guy, so I'm not very good at doing it at all. But I'll always have a go at stuff. So I've got a bit of solder on the soldering iron. And fingers crossed. Something along those lines should do the trick, I think. So it seems to have kept it place I'm sure there's soldered people here who are screaming at the camera now saying you're doing it wrong and they're probably right As long as this fixes the game, who cares, eh? Right, so, as you can see, I've now soldered it on, I'll show you that now, there, yeah. it's a horrible soldering job, um, but as long as it does actually allow the game to work, who cares, so now my trick will be to remove the old wires so I should basically just cut So the only old ones that I've removed, so they can now be discarded and now I have two new ones. I'm just hoping that the solder will hold. 
So this is the final result. I've got the two battery, brand new battery connectors coming out from here. Looks very neat, and I'm pretty happy with that. So I've connected the two batteries up um, to the new connections, which pop out quite nicely from the bottom of the unit there. The only thing I can see is you can see the wire through there, but I don't think that really matters. But it appears to be working now. So I'm pretty sure that's all the functionality working. So I hope you found that useful. Please remember that, um, again, um, as you can see, I'm not a very good solder expert here. Um, so take that as just a guide to how to fix it, how you could fix something. Not exactly the best way of doing it. It's probably probably the worst way of doing it. Um, but it's the way I've done it, and it's on sale on eBay now. So, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like the video, subscribe to my channel, be much appreciated. Um, and I'll see you in the next one.